And y'all see the prices of uh, jerseys and hats and what your favorite team, whether it's NBA or right, right. NFL, right. Right. Or, 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 or <laughs> fight football, football, basketball, all Folk don't even tie that much. But they'll break their necks no. and the bank right. to get a chance. Right. 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 And, and don't look at their feet to see no air show and say, oh, oh that means they got an out of the Man, they won't be here now. Tell them, tell them. Don't aid my car, everything else. All the Lord requires is. Just to say, he right. wants you to enjoy right. yourself. He wants you to be happy. That's good. That's right. He wants you to understand That's that your happiness is not in what the world has right. 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 to offer. That's right. That's it, man. It's in the blood of Jesus Christ. That's the right. 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 deal. And he that dwells in your heart. That's right. Because it is he who saved our sin sick soul. Oh, bless the Lord. From the depths of his Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. That's right. So I. Don't take your presence lightly here tonight. Mm -hmm. I just want y'all to know that I love you. We love the Lord. Love you. Yes, Amen. 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 All right, I want y'all to indulge me just for one more minute. If you will stand with the Bible in your hand and, and repeat after me. All right. This is, this is my wife's Bible. Man. I took it from her. <laughs> I said, I can't see in the dark to get mine out of the trunk. <laughs> She says, you take mine, I'll take yours, all right? This is my Bible. This, this is my Bible. Bible. It's the authority of the Word of God. It's the authority of the Word of God. And when I practice this principle, when I, practice this principle I can be, I can be what, it says I can be. what it says I can be. I can do, I can do what it says I can do. What it says I, can do. I am a believer. I believe and I doubt. I am the head. I am the head. And I'm the tail. I'm the tail. I am the victor. I am the victor. And not the victor. And I walk by faith. 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 And not by sight. And not by sight. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand. Pray. With me to the book of Ephesians. And somebody had the nerve to send me a flyer to the book of the scripture. Wow. I said, yeah. mm -hmm. I said, so I'm gonna try to work with that. Amen. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3. We're gonna read verses 14 through 21. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. New Testament. Mm -hmm. I know we got some Bible scholars, some theologians out there. Mm -hmm. It's already there. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 3. You need me to wait and say, hey, wait on with me, Pastor. Wait on me. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. Wait on me. Yes. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3, beginning in verse 14. For this reason, I, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, uh -huh. that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, uh -huh. that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. That you being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, uh, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Uh -huh. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, all abundantly, right. above all uh, that we ask of him, according to the power that works in us, Great God. To him be glory yeah. in the church by Christ Jesus uh -huh. to all generations forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let's bow our heads in a prayer. Father in heaven, Lord, we, we thank you uh, tonight yes, for the privilege and opportunity to call upon your holy and your righteous name. Yes, we thank you, Lord, for this day. 
We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of calling on your holy and righteous name because, Lord, we, we know that you didn't have to extend that privilege to us. Uh -huh. uh, but we thank you, Lord, because we know that you are the most awesome force yes. in the universe is ever known. We, we thank you, Lord, and, and, you, Lord. and we say, Lord, that we, 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 we appreciate the fact that we live and move and have our being uh -huh. yes. all because of you. All because yes. of you. Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, Lord. For all your many manifold yes. blessings. Yes, Father. Now I ask, Lord, that uh, you would lure me down into the deep yes. secrets of your yes. world. So that what is proclaimed here tonight may touch those whom you intended for it to touch. All right. Uh, may it fill us up, Lord, and motivate us uh, so that we may be bold for you beyond these four walls. Uh, Father, help us to understand that coming to church is one thing. Taking the church with us oh, no. everywhere we go oh, is a totally different story. Jesus. Let us have that testimony. Yes. That everywhere in our feet shall try, yes. we will tell everyone that we know yes. that Jesus is the good news. Yes. Yes. And that you need Jesus yes. in order to see him. Yes. Thank you, Lord, Thank for all your blessings. In Jesus' name, Jesus. Amen. 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 As you take your seat tonight, I'll be using your topic tonight, a new hallelujah. Oh, wow. Amen. Amen. A new hallelujah. Amen. Pray. We're here tonight to, to celebrate 49 years of service yes, yes. to our Lord and King. Uh -huh. We celebrate the fact that although we are small yes. in number, yes. you, you know, you continue to let your light shine yes, as dark and dreary word. Yes. 49 years of praises have been lifted up in this place. Uh -huh. 49 years of testimony uh -huh. about the goodness of God have been given yeah, wait, in wait. this place. Right. 49 years of leading people to right relationship with yeah. God. 49 years of bringing people together in holy matrimony. 49 years of dedicating babies. 49 years of feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, opening blind eyes. And the list goes on and on. Because 49 years by today's standards is indeed a, a very long time. Especially since I'm only 29 years old. <laughs> But it's more than a lifetime of service in the army of the Lord. There's a lot about what to say on such an auspicious occasion that means favorable, fortunate, uh, propitious, and, and, and prosperous all at the same time. I realize that in dealing with people in various stages in their uh, walk with the Lord, that there have been some times when it really felt like 140 days. Oh, yeah. That there have been some difficult days behind you. And there will be some more than you. And although I haven't told you anything that you didn't already know, the text reminds us today that when these times occur, you have to be able to give God a new hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a thing for the weeks yeah. to chance. You have to be able to give God a new hallelujah uh -huh. for the new yeah. dispensation of grace uh -huh. that he gives each and every one of us yeah. day after day, week That's after right. week, month That's after right. month, and year after year. Oh, you have to be able to give him a new hallelujah yeah. for right. getting you over uh, the right. next hurdle right. and over the next That's challenge. Right. Right. You have to be able to That's give right. him a new hallelujah. How on earth is it going to get done? Uh -huh. How can we keep it up for 49 more years? Uh -huh. How can we continue to raise it? And in a world where all churches are shutting their doors and record numbers, how can we give God a new hallelujah praise uh -huh. in the midst of such hostility, yeah. in the midst of great spiritual uh -huh. depravity, and in the midst of discontent all over the place and strife, even in the church? How can we give him a new hallelujah praise? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, you, I want y'all to know something, you know, that you asked a mighty good question. And, and Pastor Antonio, I, I want you to know that's why I don't mind coming here every time that you ask me to come because you know, I, I know you got some real Bible scholars and theologians up in here, see, and they know how to ask a pastor the right question. Amen. <laughs> and as we look at our text tonight, I, I, I believe that uh, the first thing that it points out to us is this. You have to know 
the love of Christ. Uh -huh. uh, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of yeah. God. Yeah. In other words, in order for you to continue to give the Lord a new hallelujah yeah. praise, yeah. you got to know the love of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. hard to believe, but everybody in the church, guess what? Is not filled with the fullness oh, of God. God. Yeah. Everybody that comes through the doors is not filled God. with the fullness of God. Yeah. Yeah. Who comes to the various churches throughout the world? Don't come with the right intentions. Right. The word says, anyhow, no matter who comes through the door, no matter who plucks your nerves, no matter who makes you mad, that you are supposed to come under the love of Christ in your heart. The love which surpasses all understanding. So that you may be filled with the fullness of God. Let me say that again. If you have to know the love of Christ yes. in order to be filled yes. with the fullness of God. Uh, you have to know what the Lord has done for you and appreciate yes. in order to be filled with the fullness of God. Right. Every day that you get up in the morning, right. you have to have a full understanding and appreciation of the fact that the Lord didn't have to wake you up this morning. But because of his love for you, guess what? He did anyhow. The good fight of faith. You have to really understand the love of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because he didn't have to do anything for us. But because of his love, he did. Jesus Christ loved you so much that he died for you. Yeah. That Jesus Christ died for you. Yes. And I know there are a whole lot of a whole lot of husbands and, and wives that will die for each other. Yeah. But right. there's a whole lot that won't. That won't. All right. and, uh, right. But no matter what, guess what? Christ loves you yeah. even more than your mate. Yes, sir. Yeah. He loved you so much yes, that he was willing to pay the price okay. yes, so that you would not have to die. Yeah. Think about it again. He loved you so much that he didn't want you to spend eternity. In hell. So he paid the price yes, for your sin. Come on. Yeah. One person uh, put it this way when I think of the goodness of God oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. and all that is done yeah. for me. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. In other words, yeah. I can give God a new hallelujah yeah. praise when I That's think right. about how great his love yeah. is for me. Yeah. And church, in order for us to grow and to reach the world to the glory of God, we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
God. One must know the love of Christ <laughs> on the inside yeah, in order to be yes. filled with the fullness of yeah. God. Okay. Every single day of our lives, we must be able to appreciate what the Lord has done for us. Yeah. Christ died for us. Uh, and we must forget, remember yeah. that he did not have to die to for us at all. Oh, he could have stayed yeah. on his throne in glory. glory. He wasn't ordered to come down here. Right. And yeah. He wasn't told that he had to do it. Oh, he wasn't even asked yeah. if he would do it. But he oh, voluntarily yeah. came yeah. because That's God right. loved Come on, understood. Yes, sir. But God loved us so much. Woo. So he willingly came down yes, he did. Yes, he did. to die for us. Well, you and that ought to resonate with all of us. You know, sometimes we get mad, sometimes we get angry, sometimes folk upset us. Sometimes even our day bothers us. I had a bad day today. But I wear a hat that I'm too blessed, too distressed. That's right. That's right. That's right. Sometimes we need to remember. Yeah. Love of Christ. Oh, that God. is what's going to get us through. Yes, sir. That mm -hmm. Jesus loved yes, me. Yes, and that sir. even my worst day right. can be a good day because yes, I know that yes, Jesus right. loves me. Love of Jesus Christ will carry you through yes, to the next 49 yes. years. Yes. Secondly, mm -hmm. you need to remember always that our God is able. Yes. Yes, Remember that he's able to do far abundantly mm -hmm. uh, more than we can ask or think according uh, to his power and yeah. glory. In case you think that that is too much to ask God, uh, you know, to fill his saints uh, uh, to all his fullness. Uh, in case you think it's too much to ask God to fill every member up. Remember that he is able to do far more abundantly yeah. beyond all that we can ask or think according to his power and his glory. God is just not, he, he, he's not just able to do beyond what we ask, but abundantly beyond what we can ask or think. Our minds are not equal to God. We yeah. can't even imagine the good things that he has in store for yeah. us. We can't yeah. even imagine the things yeah. that God is capable of doing. Right. But even if your imagination, in your wildest imagination, if you can think really great, guess what? God is even greater still. Yes, he, is. he says now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we can ask or think according to the power that works within us. So now, you need to ask yourself, what is your need? Times, my brother, when we look at the numbers sometimes and say, Lord, I've been working hard. I've been preaching hard. It's not in the collection plate. It's, it's not out there in the pews. Lord, what, what's going on? It's all right to ask God a question. Y'all know that, don't you? Yeah. But it's not all right to question him. Great, God. Yeah. You can yeah. ask him a question all, yeah. all you want to. Lord, I just don't understand. Can you help me with that? Yeah. But guess what? You can't question his methods. You can't question his ways. But God is not afraid of your questions because guess what? He, he is God. Yes. So we need to always remember before we ask the question, this is what we forget sometimes, that God is able to do yeah. above and beyond, exceedingly above and beyond, whatever yeah. we could ask or think. No matter how great you think your problem is, guess what? God is greater still. You know how, how far you think you've fallen, guess what? God can still reach you still. Regardless of the problems that you're going through in life, guess what? Our God is able to do what you can't even imagine. That's right. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above whatever we can ask or think. I want to encourage you to pray in faith. Asking God to do far beyond all that we can ask or think. Because our God is able. God is not limited by our thoughts. He's not controlled by what we believe. And just because we lack the faith doesn't mean that he lacks the power. Because our God is able to do exceedingly above what we could ask or think. He's able to do what no man could do. And he is able to do anything but fail. Yeah. I realize that the numbers don't add up sometimes, but that's no reason to doubt God. In order for the church to grow, and in order for the finances to increase, and in order for the community to change, you have to believe that God is able. The church can't grow when church leaders get mad because the numbers don't add up. The church 
cannot grow when church folk get mad at the world because things don't go their way. Mm -hmm. And it will not grow when you lean on what only that you can do because you have to know that God is able to do abundantly and exceedingly above whatever you could ask or think. God is able to shut the mouths of angry lions yeah. when saints are thrown in the lion's den. God is able to turn a fiery furnace into an air-conditioned penthouse. Yeah. God is able to make the jailhouse rock you loose from being falsely accused and thrown in prison. That's because he's able to do above whatever you could ask or think. So I want you to mo be motivated by the fact that when you pray, you should pray big prayers with big faith in a great, big, mighty God Amen. who is able to do far and above, exceedingly so, uh, whatever you could ask or think. Because we simply cannot know the big picture of what God is doing. I, I like to say that it is hard uh, for us to try to figure out an unfigure out of God. You can't do that. You can't figure God out no matter how hard you try. So just stop trying and trust and believe. Know that he is able. Yeah, Paul's yeah. prayer uh, for, to God was to do abundantly beyond what we ask. It, it's not a prayer for physical miracles, but rather uh, for Christ to dwell in the hearts of believers so that we may comprehend his great love for us. So that we will grow to complete spiritual maturity. Because God is able to do more than we could ever imagine. He's able to do more than we could ever think of. Yeah. He's yeah. able to do what no one else can do because he yeah. is the God. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ask me the question, how can we give God a new hallelujah praise? How can we continue another 49 years? Remember Christ's love for you. Remember that he is able. Finally, remember that he has all power in his hands. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Yeah. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus Amen. all generations forever and ever. Amen. God has unlimited power. He has all power. He holds the power of the world and the universe in his hands. In mm -hmm. other words, we can praise God because of his perfect power. And that's the power that works in us to get us through. Yes. On his road and on his side, he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So we can praise his name because of his perfect power. We can praise his name because he has the power to rule this whole earth. He longs to rule in our hearts. And he has demonstrated his power by raising Jesus from the grave. Well, yeah. It was evil men who killed Jesus. It was evil men who put him on the cross. Yeah. And it was evil men who put him in the grave. Yeah. It was evil men who buried him and bowed him yeah. by his stones and yeah. sealed him in the tomb. Yeah. But early on Sunday morning, yeah. God proved yeah. yeah. great power yeah. and rolled by yeah. the stones. God yeah. showed his power. And yeah. guess what? Yeah. He got me in the human hands. Yeah. 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 Early that Sunday morning, God yeah. yeah. shook the earth and Jesus got up from the yeah. grave. Yeah. And on that Sunday morning, God moves with perfect salvation. Yes, he moves yes, with perfect righteousness. Yes, and he yes, moves with perfect power. Yes, and Jesus Christ yes, came out yes, alive from yes, the grave. He came yes, out eternal and complete. And he came out with victory in his yes, hand. Jesus yes, Christ. God yes, yes, showed his perfect power. He, yes, he showed his perfect rule here yes, on earth. Uh -huh. yes, he did. And he showed that he had a power his hands. Yes, all power. And we have to remember that there is no situation that can thwart the power of an awesome God. There is nothing that we go through in life that can stand against the power of an awesome God. Yes, there is no power in heaven and in earth. I said aim, not all, but aim. In heaven and in earth. 
that can withstand that's it. the power of an awesome God. Yes. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Yes. 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 We need to think yes. beyond our current situation. Yes, working for the Lord is hard. Yes. 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 Working with church folk is even harder my sometimes. Lord. My Lord. My Every Lord. now and then, I'm actually <laughs> pressed against the wall, yeah. Pastor yeah. Antonio. Yeah. But don't you forget the power of an awesome God. Yeah. Yeah. God moves some folk out of your way so that his purpose, his plan, then, Shall be worried. Uh -huh. Y'all yeah, remember the children of Israel? Yes. When they were trapped in the Red Sea. Yes. Oh, yes. right. And when they had a Red Sea in front of them. Yes. And found yes. along yes. behind yes. them. Yes. Right. Right. What happened? God, God was able to yes. do it. See it in a bunch of above. He demonstrated his power. Yes. Who did he do? He made a highway. Out of nowhere. He parted the Red Sea so we can go on. Right. Right.